Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Rodrigo? Fine, very fine. Okay, it's a pleasure to listen to you. <laughs> it's a pleasure for me too. Okay. Uh, Rolando, hello, welcome, Rolando. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Oh, hard day. A hard day. Oh, sorry. Excuse Híjole. me. <laughs> Híjole. <laughs> I, like, I like the natural way you say Híjole, right? <laughs> yes. Ay, okay, imagine, I imagine. It's a Salvadorian expression. Okay. Janari, hello, welcome. How are you? Uh, hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. I am a little tired. Oh. I, I worked all day long. Uh, yeah. from, from around 7.30 7 a.m. Yeah. to at uh, 6 p.m. My goodness, sorry to hear that, but yes, it's, uh, well, it maybe was... Saturday you can rest a little, right? Uh, yes. I, work, I go out to my job at 12. Ah, so you work in the sa on Saturdays too? On Saturday, yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I also work all day long, but you yes. know, on, on Sunday I can stay with my family, so that is. I actually, wait. actually, uh, I have a conference uh, in Zoom. Uh, mm. capacitaciones. Mm -hmm. Training, some the, the, training. The, from one thirty at five thirty. Oh, sorry. Yes. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> yes. No, it's every and, day. Every day. And Sunday, too. Uh, from 8 a.m. at uh, 1 p.m. So you never rest? Uh, it's solo son por estos días. Por estos ah, okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. So I hope. Uh, on Christmas, you have free time to stay with your family, eh? I have two teachers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. So, welcome, everybody. Welcome, uh, uh, Victor, Francisco, Morena. How are you? It's a pleasure to have you in the class again. Okay. Did you, did you see the, I mean, did you watch the videos today? I sent some videos to the group for music, right? No, you didn't see the videos. No. no yes, I did. Oh, good, Rodrigo. Thank you. Do, do you like that music, Rodrigo? Yes, I like that music. This mm, okay. was wonderful hits. Okay, the 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 one from the Bangles is extremely romantic, right? Close. Yeah. Give me your hand. You almost cry <laughs> <laughs> when you listen to those kind of music. Okay, good. So let's start with the class today, right? Uh, welcome to Alejandro, too. Mr. Umansor, welcome. Okay. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello. Josue, welcome, too. Now, let's just start with the, with the platform. Today, we don't have a, a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation, because we have a lot of material in the, in the, um, in the platform, right? So let's review the conversation, and we're going to... We're going to uh, practice the conversation, right? Okay. Uh, the conversation says, I hardly ever exercise. I mean, it's very difficult for me to exercise, right? Let's watch the, the video again for the second. Exercise a lot? Well, I almost. Hello, we're now in section six. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond how often you do a particular activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to practice pronunciation and later we're going to practice 
Uh, one by one, right? Let me see here, right? Just give me a second. Check to the question, how often and what they used to respond. I hardly ever exercise. Okay, listen and I will ask only one student to repeat that, right? You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Okay, only Rolando, please. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Do you exercise? Do you exercise a lot? Okay, a lot. A lot is with a lot of frequency, right? Bastante, you know? Okay, now. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo, only you, this part. Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. My goodness. Excellent pronunciation, right? Now, uh, only Yanari, please. Seriously? Seriously? Good. Also a good pronunciation. Now, next one. Morena, ready? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Morena? Sure. Um, then I often go inline skating. Okay, inline, inline? Inline skating. Good, you can see the, the skate here, look, inline, right? Okay, mm -hmm. okay thank okay. you. Now, Alejandro? Wow. How often do you exercise like that? Wow. How often do you exercise like that? Thank you, Alejandro. Next one, Josue Campos. About five times a week. What about you? About five times a week. What about you? Good. Claudia? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my... We just watch TV. I get... Mm -hmm. Do it. Oh. oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually use watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real couch potato. Yes, I'm a real couch potato. Mm -hmm. Couch potato, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. And we'll review what is a couch potato yesterday, right? Good. Now we'll ask some specific students to practice the conversation for the class. And I guess Irma. Hello, Irma. Can you help me? You're going to be Mary, right? in the conversation, right? And then let me see, uh, Francisco, you're going to be Paul, right? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Repeat, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I live away from an hour. Really? Sure, and then I often go in line skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am really a cut potato. Okay, thank you very much, right? Couch potato, couch potato. And inline skating, inline skating. Good, thank you. Now, let me see who's going to help me. My and... Josue, Josue, Josue. What is your last name? Sorry, Josue. I forgot your. Uh, Josue. What? <laughs> no, no, the other Campo? Josue. No, no, Josue ah. Campo. No, 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 the other Josue. <laughs> Castellanos. Josue Castellano, right? Let me see. Uh, no, Josue. Sorry, I am lost. I am lost. Give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> I, have, I have the list here with me. Ah, Josué Ernesto. Yes. Josué Ernesto. <laughs> How are you? Welcome. Good evening, coach. <laughs> Good evening. I'm sorry. I, I sometimes with the last names I, I'm lost. Sorry. <laughs> so you're going to be Paul. Uh, Josue. Am I? My you're going to be Marie, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, good. One, two, three. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I leave, leave with you for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in the 
inline skating. Whoa. How often do you exercise like that? Well, about five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually use watch TV in my free time. I guess I guess I am real couch potato. Okay, thank you very much. Now for the last practice, uh, remember that you are actor, right? So you have uh, to have this feeling. This is it, like seriously. Oh wow, you know. I mean, you have to exaggerate the expression, right? Uh, let me see, Hilda. And Juan Alfonso, can you help me, please, for the last practice? Hilda, you're going to be Marie, and, and, and Juan Alfonso, you're going to be Paul, right? Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, one, okay, two, teacher. three. Mary, your teacher? Yes, you're Mary, yes. <laughs> okay. You are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I must always get up and get for hours. Seriously? Sure. And they often and in line skating. Skating, skating, skating. Mm -hmm. Wow. How when do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever. Uh -huh, Hilda. I hardly use uh -huh. watch TV, real coach potatoes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, right? I see. Okay, teacher. I hear a lot of children, but you know. Yes, it. yes, my, my, my niece. <laughs> That's Sorry. Nice. No, don't worry. Don't worry okay. for me. I feel happy when I when I listen to children. I, I feel happy for that. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Okay, teacher. We're going. Uh, listen. I want you to practice this. Uh, but the, the pronunciation of some words, I, I still feel like we have to pr pronounce some key words, right? So please, last time, repeat after me, please. You're really fit, Paul. I almost always. I almost always get up early. Get up early. I leave weights for an hour. I leave weights for an hour. Seriously? Serious? Seriously? Inline skating. Inline skating. What about you? What about you? I hardly ever exercise. I hardly ever exercise. I'm a real couch potato. I'm a real couch potato. You got it? Okay, good. Now, after this practice, we're going to listen to the commentaries. I am sure I will read a lot of commentaries today. Let me see. Oh, yes. Yeah, baby. Let me see. Rolando Campos. I don't exercise a lot. I know, Rolando. I know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but I like to go to the beach on Sundays for a long walk. Oh, my goodness. Very nice. Okay, watching the sunset, right? Beautiful. Silvia Robles. Let me see. We have Silvia Robles. Mm -hmm. Sil yes, Silvia Roxana, right? Robles. Excellent. Uh, only commentary says, how often do you exercise? Uh, Silvia, only the, the question mark, right? Only the question mark. Is missing. Solo le hace falta el signo de interrogación, but it's a good question. Now, Claudia Castro. I hardly ever do yoga. Do yoga, right, Claudia? Okay. Okay, good. And then do you play soccer a lot? A ah, lot? Mm -hmm. A lot. Only the, the letter A, right? But good commentary, Claudia. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. I hardly ever exercise. I don't know the name of this student. Let me see. 
is David Eduardo Villatoro, right? David Eduardo Villatoro. I only have, uh, no, 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 it's not in the group, right? Not in the groups. So let me see the next one, Josue Campos. I walk, no, I walk, right, Josue? Because in this case, you can say, uh, I am walking, but because you say every day, every day is a routine, right? So you have okay. to use simple present. I walk every day. When, okay. when, I, when I go to my work and when I return to, okay? So you miss only the, 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 the subject, right, Josue? Only okay. Okay. Thank you for your commentary. Thank you very much. Morena Aguila. Morena Aguila, but remember, uh, Morena is aliancista. Don't forget that, right? Okay, good. Thank you. No, 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 no. Oh. I am eagle. I am eagle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aguila. I, okay, good. I accept that. Forever, forever. <laughs> now, I hardly ever exercise at the gym, right? At the gym, because I have, ah, surgery. Ah, surgery, right? Yes, ah, surgery. Ah, surgery. It's not and, but ah. Surgery. No, yeah, yeah. It's my mistake. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. We don't have mistakes here. Please, mm -hmm. don't say mistakes. Mm -hmm. We are learning, mm -hmm. so we commit just some little things, some little, you know, errorcitos de dedo, nada más, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. don't forget, uh, Morena, that at the end of the sentence, you always have to put the, 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 the dot, the, the, what is the, the word? The point, right? The, oh, okay, okay. Okay, at the end, yes. Yeah. Now, Rosa Suyapa. Very good. Rosa is always commenting. Let me see. How often do you exercise? Actually, coma, to be strict, right? Para ser estricto en la gramática. Actually, coma, I hardly ever exercise. Oh, sorry. I hope Rosa is not a couch potato, at least, right? Good. And then we have Vicky. Let me see, Vicky. No, Ana, Marti Ana Maria, Ana Maria Martinez, right? Yes? No. Let me see. No, Ana teacher, Ma Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria, yes. Ah, okay. She's Vicky. Ah, B yes, teacher. Victoria, oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. I would say in, in Japanese, Gohayo Kosaimas. Okay, teacher. No, but, but, no, sorry. This is good morning in Japanese, you know what I'm sorry. So it's Victoria, <laughs> right? Vicky yes, Martinez, it's... yes. So... Mm -hmm. Excuse me. How often <laughs> do you exercise? I almost always get up early and I exercise. Good, excellent. And, uh, ah, yes, the period at the end only, right? But the sentence yes. is perfect, Vicky. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for your commentaries. So I, I guess we are, we are improving, right? Vamos mejorando. Yes, I, I like that. I like that, right? Now let's go to the to the grammar that we we only saw the video yesterday, so we're going to watch the full video today, and we're going to practice, right? Now, adverbs of frequency. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi, everyone. In okay, ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency, right? Remember that adverbs of frequency are used in the simple present, right? Now, listen, please. In this session, we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? Okay, please repeat. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. Repeat. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Good. Listen, uh, to show frequency in the simple present, um, we can use adverbs of frequency, right? Remember, an adverb is a, a word that modifies the action. The adjective modifies the noun, 
and the adverb modifies the, 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 the verb, the action, right? Also, I know the adverb modifies adjectives and another adverb, but the most common is that an adverb modifies a, a, a verb, an action, right? So again, adjectives modifies nouns, adverbs modifies verb, right? So in this case, the adverb modifies the routine or the frequency uh, in which you practice or you do some specific activity, right? With the frequency adverb. And, but also we have some expressions of time that indicate uh, the frequency where, where that you practice um, or you do something, right? In general. Now, and notice the position, right? The position of, of these words. They are normally at the end. Can you say every day I lift weights? Yes. It's true, you can say that, but it, normally it's at the end, right? You can say every day, every weekend, every week, every month, every year, every century. <laughs> you see, you can see every time, right? Once a week, one time, twice a week, three times a week, five times, seven. Okay, you know, you can say many times, right? A week. Twice is two times, and three times is, you know, three, <laughs> three times. Okay, I don't exercise very often, con mucha frecuencia, right? Or I don't exercise very much. No, no, no ejercito mucho. Okay? Good. Now, let's go to the other question. Listen, please, and repeat. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Repeat, please. Yes. I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Okay, give me a second. The, the battery on my computer needs energy. Okay, good. Now, uh, listen, please. Uh, well, you use ever, right, in, in questions, right? Uh, you don't use ever in, in a center. For example, you say, I ever watch TV. No, 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 you don't say that. Ever is for questions, right? And then we have uh, always... Uh, usually, uh, uh, often, uh, seldom, sometimes, hardly ever, never, uh, almost never, almost always, etc., etc. So we have rarely, uh, occasionally, right? We have a lot of adverbs, right? And normally the adverbs uh, go before the subject and the verb. For example, here, look, I often watch TV. I is the subject and watch is the, the, the action, right? So in the middle of, of both, we have the other frequency, often, right? Can we use uh, often at the beginning? Let me say, often I watch, yeah, it's possible. Can you use often at, at the end? Possibly, it's not common, it's not common, but yeah, grammatically, you can say that, right? No problem. But the custom is, I repeat, is that it's always be in the middle of the subject and the verb. Right? But with sometimes we have an exception. We can begin a sentence with, a, uh, with sometimes. So you can say, <clears throat> sometimes I watch TV or I, I sometimes watch TV. Can you use sometimes at the end? Oh, yeah, you can say, I watch TV before bed sometimes. Yeah, you can say that. But I repeat, it's not the custom. It's not the custom, right? Normally, uh, all the adverbs of frequencies go before the subject and the verb. And sometimes can go at the beginning or in the middle of the subject and the, in the, in the verb, right? Good. Do you have any question about this? Questions, 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 questions? Okay, so we're going to see the rest of the video and later we're going to practice together, right? Always. 
almost always, oh. usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never. I think it would help to know the position. Uh, um, they were repeating and, and the adverb were, were in, in another uh, part, but, but you know them, right? You, I'm sure you know, you say que están familiarizado con ellos. So let's go and, and check uh, this, this part, okay? Of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Okay, I want you to notice that when I use third person singular, he, she, and it, uh, I always use the extra S or ES in some cases, right? When you say the verb in present, right? So you say place. Then you, you might say, hey, pero si estamos usando el verbo de frecuencia, entonces no le ponemos la S al tercera persona. No, yes, yes, you can, you have to do that, right? It's mandatory. Of course, with, with we, you, and, and the rest, you don't put an, an extra S, right? Only he, she, and it, right? Okay, let's continue. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest, or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? Okay, now we're going to see some examples, right? Uh, we're going to start, no, only Rolando we say, right? Siempre empezamos con, con Rolando, pobrecito, siempre lo agarramos de, <laughs> de víctima. <laughs> okay, now we're going to start with Claudia Ordóñez. Hello, Claudia, welcome. Hi. Hi, A ayer no pudo estar con nosotros, ¿verdad, Claudia? No, no pero no, aquí está, aquí está ya. Okay, yes. good. Now, listen, uh, Claudia. Uh, we're going to start using uh, this expression of time. Look, every day, once a week, twice a month, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I need you to tell me an activity that you do every day. If, if you cannot say in, in, in English, we can say in Spanish and we make together the sentence, right? Okay. Tell, tell me your activity, Claudia. My activities? Mm -hmm. Something you do every day, right? Algo que hace usted todos los días. Work. <laughs> okay, I work. Come on. I, I work. I work. Every. I work every every day. I work every day. That's nice, right? Good. Uh, Rosa, what is something you do every week? For example. Todos los días. No, no, no. Every week. Todas las semanas, right? Every week. Mm -hmm. I go to the church, I go to I, the park, I, 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 I mm, yes, I go, to, I go to my work every week, every week, right, okay, notice that when you say every week, it's uh, todas las semanas, but when you say once a week, it means only one time, right, okay, Ana Maria, help me please, can you tell me an activity that you do once a week, only one time in the week? Oh, I go to the church mm -hmm. eh, once every week. One, but but in this case, once. once a week, right? Once a week. Once a week. Saturdays or Sundays, Ana Maria? Um, Sundays. Sundays. Okay, you, good. So I go to the church once a week, right? Now, something oh. you do twice a month, Juan Alfonso. What is something you do two times or twice a month? Excuse me, teach. Repeat. Can, can you tell me one activity, uh, Juan Alfonso, that you do two times in a month, twice a month? Okay. Uh, why for teach a magazine? 
Ah, okay. Oh, really? You write for a for a tech magazine? Nice. So you yes. say, I, I write for a tech magazine twice a month. Say, say please. Repeat. Excuse me. I write for a tech magazine. I write from a tech magazine. Uh huh. Twice. Twice a month. Excellent. Um, Thank you very much. Very good. Congratulations, on Juan Alfonso. Okay, now something you do three times a year, Francisco. Can you help me with this? I exercise three times a year. <laughs> oh, come on. I can't believe it, Francis. No, really? No, no, no. Maybe 10 times. Like couch, couch potato. You're a couch potato. No. No, I thought you were saying I, I, I go to a lake or I go to the bar exercise. No, no come on, Francis. Well, you have to change your routine, right? Now, let me see. Uh, who's next? Uh, give me a second. Um... Uh, Alejandro, hello Alejandro. So now tell me something you don't do very often. Notice that uh, in this case, when you say very often or very much, it's a negative sentence, right? So what is, Alejandro, what is something you don't do very often? I, uh, I hardly ever. Uh... Oh, okay, but sorry, Alejandro. I, your sentence is perfect, but now I need you use very often. I don't, I don't. I don't uh -huh. uh, watch uh, soap operas. Uh-huh, congratulations. Very often. Yes. So this is the difference between men and women, right? Women, women love to see soap opera, right? And women only football, right? <laughs> no, yes. but... But there are some men that they are, listen, they are pushed to watch soap operas. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Now, now let's go to use, uh, those are expression of time. Now, let's go to the examples using hours of frequency, right? Okay, Mai, please. Can you tell me an example that you often do? Algo que hace con frecuencia, right? Often do. Uh, I I often I often talk to my mom at night. Okay, very good. So listen, she often talks to her mom at night. Mm -hmm. Okay, now who's next? Next example. Uh, Victor, Victor, yes, right? Ya le pregunté a Victor. No, no right? Teacher. No, no, no. Okay, Victor. Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I I watch tunes. Tunes, you know, tunes is cartoon, right? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Sometimes, sometimes I watch cartoons. Or I I, so I sometimes watch cartoons. Excellent, thank you, Victor. Now I want you to notice this: what Victor said, right? He says, sometimes I watch cartoons or I sometimes watch cartoon, right? So it's possible to say. Yanari, please. Okay. Thank you, Victor. Now, Yanari, I hardly ever, please. I hardly ever. Mm -hmm. I hardly ever do exercise. Oh, come on. No, <laughs> please. I don't know. I feel like I am the church, right? Me siento que estoy en la iglesia católica y todos están confesando. <laughs> Because no, nobody exercises here. Come on, exercise is good. Now, Just uh, with my mouth. <laughs> oh, come on. Only, only drinking coffee, right, Janari? <laughs> and eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Well, at least try to walk, right? Now, uh, Claudia Castro, please. Can you tell me one example using never, please? Um, no, I never... It's, um, I know it's, um, Kuzuko? No. <laughs> Comida picante, quiere decir. Uh, uh, it... Spicy, spicy, spicy. Spicy, spicy. Spicy food. Spicy food. Ah, okay. okay. I never 
eat a spicy food. Good. Very good. It's healthy. Healthy do not eat uh, chili, right? Or, or spicy food. Or you can say, for example, if you go to the Estadio Cucatlan, you say, I never eat carne de chucho, right? Don't eat that, please. <laughs> it's not acceptable. Okay, thank you. I like your example. Sorry uh, for Rodrigo, Rolando, and, and, and Brenda, and Hilda, and Morena that you didn't give me example, but later you're going to give me examples. Now we're going to read the, the commentaries, examples, right? Rolando Campos, Mr. Campos is always the, the, the first to, to, to write, right? Now, Rolando, uh, remember capital letter, right, Rolando? Sorry, teacher. No, no, don't, don't say sorry. Don't worry. Just it's it say que fue un error de dedo nada más, okay? Sometimes, coma, I go to the beach on Sundays. Nice. Very good. I go to the beach on Sunday, on Sundays, uh, sometimes, correct? Here you can copy a comma too, right? Sunday, comma, sometimes. And I sometimes go to the beach on some, nice. Notice the three position of sometimes. Sometimes at the beginning, sometimes at the end, and sometimes in the middle of the subject and the verb. But listen to me, never, no matter what you do, never than ever, copy sometimes after the verb, right? For example, you cannot say, I go sometimes. No, and no. Incorrect. I sometimes go, cling. I go sometimes, and incorrect, right? Good. Claudia Castro, how often do you exercise? I play soccer three times, times with the S, right? Times a week. Excellent. Good example, Claudia. But remember, it's time, right? Do you ever exercise in the week? I hardly ever exercise. That's you, otro pequeño rosito de dedo, right? But okay. Uh -huh. eh, sabe, sabe, Claudia, que a mí es una de las cosas que más me costó en inglés escribir bien el exercise este, este verbo. Siempre lo ponía así. <ríe> me costó corregirlo, verdad? Pero sí. Primero va la C de sí, and then the the es at the end, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank you for your commentary. Silvia Robles. I do jogging. I do jogging once a week. Okay, I, let me explain explain this, right? Uh, Silvia, let me explicarle esto. And let me go to the to the board. Okay, listen. Uh, when you mention some activities, for example, uh, you say I do. And you mentioned some um, some specific activity, for example, do yoga, for example, right? Or I I do craft. I do craft, for example. I go manualidad, right? I do craft. Now, generally, when you use an ing uh, uh, verb, you use the verb go, right? I go swimming. I go skating, skating, et cetera, et cetera, right? And you use play when you talk about a, a sport. Normally, this sport includes a, a, a ball, right? Including a pelota most of the time, right? So you say, I play a basketball, for example, basketball. I play... A, I don't know, football, right? It's the most common, football. Okay? So notice that you say, I do, right? Uh, the exception of this is that I play uh, chess, for example, right? Yo juego ajedrez. No hay una pelota ahí, pero, you know, it's, it's, it's considered, you know, sport, right? El deporte mental. But this is the way we use, you know, do with some specific activities. Uh, do yoga, do craft, do photograph, do, you know, many things, right? Many activities. And go swimming, go skating, go riding, go, go, I don't know, everything that has an ING, right? And play is related to a sport, right? Related to a sport. Now, Teacher. yes, tell me, tell me. 
siempre es play cuando son juegos de mesa. Play eh, poker, blackjack. Eh, ajá, the card, right? Eh, son juegos de... Sí, de mesa, yes. Eh, como no te enojes, eh, cartas, eh, I don't know, eh, damachinas, etcétera, etcétera, right? Aunque no hay una pelota, pero decimos play. I play chess, I play cars. Ajá. Pero generalmente play siempre está incluido con los deportes donde hay un balón, ¿no? Es lo más común, right? Ok. Y entonces, teacher, teacher. Yes. Uh, también cuando se usa play the guitar. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Play the guitar, yes, it's a, excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much to remind me, right? Then play the piano, play the guitar, play the, the violoncello, the violin, violin, et cetera, et cetera. So in this case, look, Silvia says correctly, I go jogging, look. It's not correct to say do jogging or play jogging, it's I go jogging. Why? Because ing, right? Okay, good. Understand this part is is very important, right? Okay, and then Vicky says, "How often do you exercise?" Oh, I don't exercise very often. Espero que este solo sea el ejemplo, Vicky, y que en la vida real sí. <laughs> sí uh, no much, teacher. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, good, but but I don't see too many comments. No sé si no me han cargado los demás comentarios, pero solo veo cuatro comentarios. Come on, it's not enough. I need more, right? Necesito más. El teacher necesita más para ser feliz. <laughs> you want to make me happy? Everybody, right? Vamos a ver quiénes. Vamos a pasar lista. Quiénes no me han escrito. Josué Campos. Morena, <laughs> Morena Águila. Eh, Rolando nunca escribe. Ah, no. eh, Juan Alfonso. Vic. No, Vicky, ahí está. Eh, Irma, Camana, bastante no me han escrito, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a Alejandro Mansor, ya le vamos a poner planos. Ah, no. Ok, so, so, for tomorrow, please make commentaries. Now, let's go to the knowledge check, nuestro primer laboratorio, right? Ok, please, pay attention. Instruction, it says, read the following prompts. Prompts is like, eh, como ejemplo, right? Choose the response in which, ah, bueno, aquí dice puntos, pero, ajá, ejemplo. Eh, choose the response in which the adverb in brackets, right, o, o in paréntesis, right, estos son paréntesis, pero bueno, is placed correctly, it says, right. Do you play sports? Ok, recuérdense lo que dijimos del, del ever, right, vamos a repasarlo aquí para que no... Que el ever se usa solo en preguntas. Y siempre, como todos los adverbios, va entre el sujeto y el verbo, ¿verdad? Eso fue lo que dijimos. Vamos a ver si lo aplicamos aquí. Let me see. Do you ever play sports? Ever you play sports? Or do you play sports ever? Do you ever play sports? No, 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 no. Come on, Yanari, Yanari. No, no, no. It's a secret, Yanari. Ok. Uh, aquí no damos la respuesta, vaya. ya todos la sabemos. <ríe> es algo así como, ya todos sabemos que el Barça es el mejor equipo, ¿verdad? Pero, pero nadie lo dice, ¿sí? Nah. <ríe> ok, ya todos sabemos que la alianza, eh, perdón Morena, pero ok, ya sabemos que la alianza <ríe> es el mejor, ¿verdad? Pero nadie lo dice, ¿sí? Entonces estas esta respuestas son como retóricas, ¿sí? Yo la pregunto, pero ustedes no lo responden, ¿ok? Pero ya todos sabemos que va entre el sujeto y el verbo, ¿ok? Good. Y ahí le estoy dando la respuesta. Number two. Sure. I play soccer and then say twice a week. Eh, let me see. Francisco, this is a adverb of frequency or is a time expression, Francisco? What do you think? Time expression or it's adverb a, of frequency? Mm. Adverb of frequency. Mm. Okay, listen. Uh, adverbs of frequency are, are always, usually, often, uh, hardly ever, sometimes. Time expression. Uh -huh. So in this case, Francisco is? Time expression. Time expression, good. 
And normally, normally I say, because si algún día usted ve una oración donde dice, twice a week I play soccer, y, ah, el teacher me mintió, me dijo que siempre iba al final. Hay ciertas excepciones, hay ciertos escritores que les gusta you know, cambiar, ¿verdad? Y, eh, o las canciones, a veces eso sucede, ¿verdad? Como hay una canción de los Beatles eh, que dice, she don't, en lugar de decir she doesn't, dice she don't, ¿verdad? Pero ah, son eh, algunas cosas que se aceptan, aunque sea incorrecta, ¿verdad? Pero se aceptan en inglés. Normalmente siempre al final, twice a week, las expresiones de tiempo siempre van al final. Entonces aquí prácticamente ya les di la respuesta, ¿verdad? Sure, I twice a week play soccer. Twice a week, sure, I play soccer. O sure, I play soccer twice a week. ¿Ok? Prácticamente ya les di la respuesta. What do you do on Saturday morning? Aquí sí, ¿verdad? Yanari, ¿habrá a frequency, yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, right. So the average frequency goes before the subject and the verb, right? Before the subject and the verb. What do you do you usually do on Saturday morning? What do you do Saturday usually morning? What usually do you do on Saturday morning? So, you know, right? Creo que está bastante fácil. Yes. Nothing much. I sleep until noon. Almost always. Aquí sí nos metieron gol, ¿verdad? Porque esta es una expresión, almost, eh, que va unido al adverbio. Entonces, se convierte en un adverbio de frecuencia. Todo, la Almost always. Así como hardly ever. ¿Ok? Entonces, va solo always. Y también va también con almost always. ¿Sí? Almost always. Almost always. So, it's an adverb of frequency. Cualquiera podría decir, time expression. No, no. Other of frequency, right? Y ya dijimos, creo que esa es la oración más repetida en esta clase. The others of frequency go between the subject and the verb, right? So I sleep until noon, almost always. I, I almost always sleep. Or I sleep until almost always noon, right? So you know the answer. <clears throat> Often. Often, it's a, a frequency hour also, right? And again, the frequency hour goes between the subject and the verb, right? And in question, it includes question, right? Hardly ever, also is a, another frequency. Other frequency, right? Okay. And number seven, always again, right? So it's an hour of frequency and it goes. Nos vamos a dormir con la misma expresión, ¿verdad? Between the subject <laughs> and the verb, right? Do you always? Okay, well, always. Never. Also, look, it's an hour of frequency. No, I never yeah. say so. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Please, no, no, Rolando, please. Don't say the answer. Okay? <laughs> no, please. Sorry, teacher. El micrófono estaba abierto. I know, okay, sorry. Por ahí vi a Alejandro tomando nota rápido ahí. A, a Mai también, rápido, están tomando nota ahí. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, teacher. Ok. Now, uh, usually, again, right? Ah, good. And number 10, about three times a week. This is a fresh time expression, right? So the time expressions go at the end of the sentence, right? Mm -hmm. Ok. So do you have questions about this? This part? Yes, questions? This topic is difficult, right? So because you have to memorize the time expression every day, once a week, once a month, twice a year, three times a, a month, okay? And the adverse of frequency, always, almost always, usually, seldom, often, sometimes, uh, occasionally, uh, rarely, hardly ever, never, right? Okay. Teacher, what's the meaning seldom? Seldom is like uh, sometimes. It's still synonym, right? Similar. Similar, yes. Okay, seldom. thanks. Seldom. Okay. No questions. So let's practice pronunciation and the last conversation. So we're going to finish in point... 
1.8, right? Okay. Good. So this is the class of today, right? Esa en realidad es la clase de ahora, 1.6. Now, listen, please. Pronunciation. <laughs> Intonation with direct address. Go address? No, addresses. Okay. Listen to the audio. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. Mm -hmm. So this is the... Helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. So falling intonation is like, you know, right? You're really fit, Paul. You look tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. So um, notice that you, you address... Address is uh, the verb, right? Perdón que, que me focalice en, en, en esta parte, ¿verdad? Address es el verbo y address es el nombre, right? Dirección, address. Okay. My address is mexicano, colonia esa camina. My address. And I address people. Yo me dirijo a la gente. Me dirijo a, a ciertas personas. Address. ¿Ok? La entonación cambia eh, entre el nombre y el, y el verbo, ¿verdad? Repito, el nombre es, el noun es address, dirección, right? And address es dirigirse a. Now, in this case, is you address to Paul. So, you say, you're really fit, Paul. You're really fit, Paul. Now, you say, uh, Victor, you're really nice, Victor. You're really nice. Right, Victor. You you look uh, tired, uh, Alejandro. You look tired, Alejandro. Uh, you feel great, Rodrigo. Okay, so you you go to a falling intonation and then you you make a a, a, a rising intonation when you say the name. Right now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me. You're really fit, Paul. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Good. Any question about this? Questions, questions? Okie dokie, so... We're going to go to the next video, right? And we finish the class here, right? In the conversation. I'm a real fitness freak. So you're a loco. Ejercitando, ¿verdad? Okay. Es decir, aquí los extremos, ¿verdad? Hay gente que, pues, no es un coach portero. Y hay otros que, pues, se pasan de la raya, right? So listen, please. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks, I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, so that is the conversation. You're in great sh So I don't know if you have questions about vocabulary. Any word that you don't understand? I told you, right? Real fitness, fitness freak is a person that is crazy about fitness, right? 
Okay, and work out, work out, you know, work is uh, you work for your company, right? for example, right? But work out is when you make exercise at a gym or, or you work out in, I don't know, in, in your house or, or uh, one appropriate, appropriate place to, to exercise. So work out is exercise, right? Good. Uh, uh, notice, look, remember I was telling you that uh, you say, I go, I do, and I play. Notice. I do aerobics, but you say I play tennis, right? Okay, good. Um, then yeah. Yes, yes. Great, great shape. What is? Ah, great shape is like uh, you're muscular. You are, shape is forma, right? It's like, okay. estoy en forma. Okay. Yes, y aquí veo a toditos, todos estamos en forma, excelente, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Pero siempre hay que mantenerse, aunque estén en forma, pero siempre hay que hacer ejercicio, right? Okay, good. In my case, I don't show you my belly, right? Belly is in Spanish pancita, right? <laughs> Because I needed some exercise too. Okay, good. And look at this. I'll give you a few tips, unos cuantos consejos, tips, a few tips, right? Okay, let's practice the conversation. Please repeat after me. You're in great shape. Keith, thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. Freak, you know, is, is loco, right? Loco psicotico, you know, freak. Now, how often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Some, some time. Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you, I will give you, I'll give you a few tips. I'll give you a few, a few tips. Good, now we're going to practice the conversation. Let me see. A quien no le dado participación? Hilda, I suppose, right? Hilda and Irma also, right? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Hilda and uh, Irma no me han participado. Okay, so. Hilda, your Ruth, and Irma, your Keith, right? Okay, teacher. Oh. Okay, come on. You are you are in great shape, Kate. Uh huh, Irma. <laughs> Thanks. 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 I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Okay, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Eh, perdón, ya me, ya me perdí yo. Eh, no, no. Irma y, y quién? Irma y, y... Hilda. Y Hilda, right? Hilda, perdón, Hilda, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, Hilda e Irma. Sí, Hilda. Okay. Yes, y, teacher. Hilda, you're Ruth, only Ruth, right? And Irma. Okay, teacher. Irma, you're going to be Keith, right? Okay. Understand? Okay. O, okay. O, o yo me confundo, es que no, no, no. Irma, no, no, no. No la escuché, Irma. Okay. It's okay. Okay, good. Now, one, two, three. Okay. You are great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobic twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play some time? Oh, 
How well do you play? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I know very good. Problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okie dokie, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Silvia Roxana, please. And Josue Campos. Josue, your kid. And Silvia Roxana, your Ruth, right? Good. Okay. Your I'm great shape, kid. Kate, Keith, Keith, uh -huh, Keith. Thanks. I get some real fitness freak. Freak. How often do you work at? Do you work at? Well, I do a ride twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis. That sound like a lot of fun. Um. Do you want to play sometime? Oh, uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, I read, but I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Silvia. Thank you, Jose. Now, uh, listen, this is all right. All right means está bien, está bien. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, uh, and the name, you know, sometimes the names are difficult, but Keith in this case, right? Good. So that's all for today. And uh, tomorrow I will send you another video uh, in the group. Please try to practice, right? I don't know if you have any extra question before we finish. Any extra question? No. No question, teacher. Okie dokie. So see you tomorrow. God bless you. See Have you a tomorrow. good night. See you Bye. tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow, teacher. Hey.